second building collapsed while we were on the FDR walking north. Now, you, um, were you aware at the time of feeling that the whole city was under attack? Did you believe it was over, or did you think there was more to come? Uh, we second building collapsed while we were on the FDR walking north. Now, are you... Um, were you aware at the time of feeling that the whole city was under attack? Did you believe it was over, or did you think there was more to come? Second building collapsed while we were on the FDR walking north. Now, are you, um, were you aware at the time of feeling that the whole city was under attack? Did you believe it was over, or did you think there was more to come? It is indeed the BBC's World Business Report. Let me recap for you the news that we now have. Uh, the U.S. financial markets, the largest in the world, the equity side of this situation, will reopen on Monday at 9.30, not opening on Friday. This is the longest contiguous stoppage since the end of World War I. Uh, let me show you the scene here where we are in Times Square. Yesterday, I think there was one flag and one sign. Uh, today you'll see that uh, some people working on this building site, perhaps the owners, we don't know if it's the workers themselves, have added the flags that you see. There have been uh, elected politicians in New York State urging Americans in the city to fly flags uh, to show resolve. Uh, let me tell you some other news that's been coming in for the business community. The Reuters news agency reports that Morgan Stanley that was the largest tenant in the World Trade Center with 3,700 employees has said on Thursday that fewer than 40 are missing. And so to one man who was in the World Trade Center towers at the time of the explosion, the initial explosion. He is David Wiss, chief economist of Standard & Poor's. I spoke with him earlier today to ask him about his own personal experiences and uniquely a man who might take the question was it appropriate to ask of economic ramifications? Well, we had a batch of us together from the conference, and I was sort of trying to herd everybody away from the building, um, went down into Battery Park from there, which I thought was probably far enough away. I didn't want to go up north next to the buildings. I thought that was too close. I thought we were better off heading to the east side and going up that direction. So is that a, how, long did you, how long did you stay in that area before you managed to get out? Well, we saw the second, the, both buildings collapse. We saw the first building collapse while we were still in Battery Park. The second building collapsed while we were on the FDR walking north. Now, are you, um, were you aware at the time of feeling that the whole city was under attack? Did you believe it was over, or did you think there was more to come? Uh, we were scared it wasn't over. I was glad when I walked up north and saw that the Empire State Building was still standing. Now, in your um, work, What's happened since then? Pretty much absolutely nothing. Uh, the office has been closed, the stock market has been closed, the treasury market just reopened today. Um, there's not much activity obviously going on in U.S. markets. I'm still trying to put out commentary from home using the internet through a slow dial-up line, which is not terribly effective, but um, it's the best we can do. Second building collapsed while we were on the FDR walking north. Now, are you... Um, were you aware at the time of feeling that the whole 